Good morning. I um, wanted to touch base with you all about um, CYSO and what may or may not be happening uh, for us for the rest of this season. Um, first of all, let you know I am well. I'm missing you, thinking about you a lot, hoping that you are well. Um, and um, how strange this time is. Um, I think we all feel that um, and how disconnected we feel. Um, so I just wanted to reach out and say a few words. Last night we had a um, online meeting for the CYSO conductors, the board members and the managers. And we talked about what the rest of the season may or may not look like. And um, one of the things that we did come up with was if the public schools reopen by May 4th, that would give us two weeks before um, the finale concert date, which was May 17th. And um, we would try to go ahead and um, have our finale concert if, if we have those two weeks of preparation time or more, if we get back earlier than that, um, we would like to go ahead with the finale. Um, we would do a combination of the gala activities with the finale concert so that we would have our um, baskets there for a bid and our um, auction items like the two flutes and the piccolo that were um, donated for auction this year and we would complete the raffle at that time. Um, I know some of you still have uh, raffle tickets and money that you um, haven't been able to turn in. That's okay. Um, we want to continue to to work on selling those tickets um, all the way up to the finale concert. Um, the trip f to London, there's no um, timeline on that. That can be used um, whenever um, the winner chooses to go. So it's not like it has to be used in the next year. Um, they can wait until things get back to normal and um, select the time that they would like to take that trip. Remember also that the alternate prize on that was an Apple Watch. So that's also a very viable prize and many people would be interested in that. So uh, we need to continue with the with the raffle sales. Of course, you have to do it online now, but that's very um, doable through social media. Um, and if you want to mail your stubs and your money in, you can write a check and you can send it to the CYSO post office box and um, that way it reaches Linda Foss and can um, be accounted for. Um, it's possible that if we can't do the finale concert on May 17th, uh, that we would um, do an online auction at that point for the baskets and things and they would be delivered to the doorstep. Um, so we're, we're working on um, how, how all this is gonna come out at the end. If we can't do the May 17th finale concert, um, perhaps we would do a concert in the summertime and we would have a week of rehearsals um, before, uh, maybe we would do it like a day camp and we would have morning rehearsals for a few days and then have our concert. Um, but we're determined to um, put together a final concert for you guys um, as best we can. So um, nobody knows what the future brings, but we are very committed to um, finishing this season somehow with you. Um, so that brings me to the music. I would really like to do Furry Leaves and the Reinecke. I know we put in so much work on that Reinecke Sonata. And um, I know that the audience would really love to hear it. So that is what we would use for the finale concert. So keep working on those parts. In a way, you know, having extra time here may be a blessing for some of you that have really difficult parts. So um, keep chugging away on those and, um, and believe that we are going to present this um, at some time or some place. Um, we're determined. Um, if you have harmony flutes um, with you from the Naval Academy Chapel service, um, it's fine to practice those Reinecke parts on those flutes. Um, if that's the instrument that you play it on, um, go ahead and use them to practice. That's fine. Just take good care of them. And when we get back together again, you can turn them into me then. Um, let's see. Flute camp. Um, I don't know if that last week of June will be when we actually um, hold the camp, 
if they extend the school year a bit, it might run into that final week of June. Um, if that's the case, then I will do it in July or I'll do it in August. Um, but I'm intent on doing flute camp for you guys. I know how much it means to you and um, I will work very hard to find a time that um, we can put that together. So don't give up on that. I'm certainly not. Um, CYSO auditions this year, they're talking about doing them online perhaps. And they might be rolling auditions so that you could um, do it, you know, whenever. You would record yourself on video and then you would submit it and um, it really could be done almost at any time. So if you're interested in um, auditioning for concert or, or symphony, um, be thinking about preparing that material now and um, be, be ready to perhaps do an online audition. Um, so keep going with that. Um, of course, you don't have to re-audition for senior flutes, you know that. So with my private students, I'm teaching Skype lessons, and um, that's going fairly well. Um, I certainly don't like it as much as side-by-side um, uh, -side, um, lessons, but I think for right now, it's a great solution, and we're continuing to move forward. If there are any of you in senior flutes who don't have a private teacher, and you would like to do an online Skype lesson, um, contact me through text or email, and um, we can set up a time, and um, I'd be happy to do a lesson with you um, on your CYSO stuff if you would like to do that. So something to think about to um, fill the time that we have right now. Um, I wanted to say thank you for the Naval Academy um, chapel service. I found that to be so uplifting. And when I get um, distressed about the fact that we can't rehearse together right now, I think back to that, that service and how amazing that was. Um, I love how music brings people together and how it communicates feelings that can't be expressed in words. And um, I just thought it was so amazing to have 50 of you from ages uh, basically 11 to 75 um, making music together that was so beautiful and um, praising God and um, so I'm just I'm just using that to uh, keep my spirits up I know we've had some amazing experiences together this year in CYSO with um, Carnegie Hall and playing at the State House and the White House and but th that Naval Academy Chapel service that was right up there for me in um, highlights of the year so um, I'm remembering that and it's keeping me going and I, I thank you for how beautifully um, you played that day. It means a lot to me. So um, I think that's it for now. Um, if, you, if I've forgotten anything, feel free to text me or email me or call me. <laughs> um, I'm here and I'm not doing much other than teaching on Skype. So um, I'm happy to chat with you if you just wanna talk, um, whatever, let's stay connected and um, be positive and hope that we will be together again soon and take up right where we left off. So keep practicing and keep the faith. Stay well. Bye-bye.